Welcome back to AM Northwest. Whenever our first guest is here, it means show business is booming in Oregon right now. Here with a film and TV update, we welcome back casting director Lana Vinker. Good to have you with us again. Good to see you. It does mean that things are hopping right now, right? It, it's, you know, it's amazing. We were a little worried after all these big shows ended, Grand Portlandia, Librarians, right. that there might be some kind of void, but actually uh, other productions have swooped in and uh, it's hopping. That's awesome. Tell us about the Wonderland Murders, uh, the one of my favorite series. Well, you know, the, these kind of shows are a lot of fun, you know, they're very specific style right. of acting but we cast a whole bunch of local actors in it and I know it's got it's gotten a lot of attention my mom is a huge fan of those kind of shows oh, well, She's, I'm, you know, I'm with your mom I think we I talked about this, this yeah, last I'm with your mom on this <laughs> and it's so, so well done part of the thing is they have to find actors who look like the real people yes and they did a great job yes yeah. yes yes we found some actors that really resembled the original um, perpetrators like the, and the, the you detectives, know, detectives the coroner all of that it's it's fascinating, and I just love that so many local people were. Yeah, were I love the photography there. too. The, it's really well Oregon done. looks amazing. Yeah, yeah. it does. Um, the Perfectionists. Tell me about that. The Perfectionists is a new series. It's a spinoff of Pretty Little Liars, which has a big fan base. Uh, it's for uh, Warner Brothers and Freeform, and they shot the pilot here earlier this year, and now they are coming back to shoot uh, the first. Uh, I guess they've uh, ten episodes, so they're shooting nine more uh, here this fall. When when they when a company says they're going to come here and shoot something, what do they what do they make note of to say why they want to come here? What is it about Portland? What is it about Oregon? Well, there's a lot of reasons. I mean, obviously we have amazing locations, right. um, but we also have fantastic crews and uh, really great acting talent. Uh, I think there's it's like the word is out now. Right. We've done enough now for all these different studios and networks that when they are considering a place to shoot, Oregon is definitely on the map. We've worked really hard to get our name out there. And of course, they're looking at the film incentive program as well, but they're weighing that with all the other benefits to shooting here. You came back from Sarajevo. You were nominated for best casting is that right yes so yes. tell me about that um, I was at Sarajevo Film Festival um, w there was the uh, International Casting Director Award and uh, myself and Heidi Levitt LA casting director and my longtime colleague Aaron Goodman were nominated for a movie that we worked on and it was fantastic we did a whole week worth of events with workshops and panels and a fundraiser for the refugees uh, so it's just a lot of fun what is what is a secret to good casting I, I think it's a combination of things. I think um, the thing I love about casting, it's, it's like a mix of the right brain and the left brain. So you need to have that creative side, right. the, the kind of ability to see the director's vision and know a lot of actors and their abilities and, and range. Um, but also you have to be pretty, pretty organized because oh, you're dealing with so. a lot of names and sometimes multiple projects and you're also doing the paperwork and the union stuff. So you kind of have to have a balance of both sides of the brain, which is kind of keeps me interested. I would think it'd be fun when you say, okay, here's a here's um, a role. Oh, I know the perfect person for yeah. that. That would be exciting. Yeah, that happens. And, you know, it's really wonderful when you're working with the director and producers who uh, value what the casting director brings to the table and right. says, you know, okay, this is what we have in mind, but show us what you've got. Maybe you have some other ideas we hadn't thought of, and yeah. so we can kind of throw some wild cards in, and oh, that's, that's really fun. Um, you've, you've got Timmy Failure. Tell me about that. So Timmy Failure is a new Disney movie. It's based on the popular children's book series of the same name. Um, they started out shooting in Vancouver, B.C., and now they're here wrapping up uh, shooting the rest of it here in Portland. We've cast about, I think, 15 local actors, and they've hired a local crew and extras, wow. so it's a big production. And uh, season two of American Vandal, that's something that teenage boys really like. Oh, yes. Season one uh, <laughs> was a big hit on Netflix with teenagers, um, and you probably can't show the trailer. Yeah, we can't. <laughs> the show, we it's can't. A, it's a little crass. Uh, but but let me tell you, they brought back, for season two, they brought back only, I think, two of the actors from season one, and all of the other actors in the entire series are Northwest locals. That's fantastic. We get fantastic. 100 actors from here, and that's not counting the extras. Wow. So uh, it was a big project for us, and that is going to be airing soon. The trailer just dropped, um, and uh, it looks like, you know, it's got its audience. It's yeah. going to be. I know. <laughs> uh, I, love leave, I love Leave No Trace. That was a fantastic movie. Yes. That that based movie on and, and on Lean on Pete both have been Lean getting Pete, a yeah. lot of critical acclaim, um, Sundance, New York Times. So uh, again, Oregon is just really on the map in terms of locations, in terms
terms of um, ease of shooting here, the um, ease of flying in and out, right. and um, so now we're just we're just getting you know Netflix. Um, they've shot where well, they shot Everything Sucks here last year, mm -hmm. and then they did uh, the OA Part Two earlier this year, and now they have another series that they're looking at bringing here this fall. Um, so a uh, crew call has just gone out, and uh, that's going to be hopefully starting up soon. Right. So. Um, I would have thought that the rain, the weather would have proved to be a problem, but sometimes that's what they want. Is that oh, kind for of, sure? You know, yeah, the green, you know, lush. Of course, this summer it's been so hot and dry yeah, no. <laughs> and smoky. So, yeah, so, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and Aidy Bryant Shrill. Yes. So Aidy Bryant from Saturday Night Live has got a new series for Hulu. Um, I think they've greenlit six episodes, and I heard that Carrie Brownstein in Portlandia is directing one of them. Oh, really? So that's another local connection. She is connection. so funny. She oh, is. Oh my yeah, gosh. Yeah, it's I'm just, excited to see that. You know, and now we've got these, you know, streaming platforms like Hulu, right. Amazon. They're all looking at Oregon and some features films so apparently there's some feature films also eyeing Oregon to come uh, later in the year or maybe early in the next year so you know this is exciting usually you know summers are busy time from maybe like May through October we right. usually slam this year we were slammed starting in January through about April and then slowed down a little bit and then the summer kicked in and now we're getting calls about stuff that's happening October, November, December, oh, wow. January. So it's, you know, it, this it's is great. so great. Yeah, it's Lana, so great. Thank you so much and congratulations on your nomination too. Thank that's you. Awesome. Thank you.